without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take this, it. Let's take it. This week, our first fight on the card is Magomed Ankalaev versus Vulcan Uzdemir. Uh, Ankalaev is coming off a five fight win streak. He's coming with a record of 15 and one, pretty much pristine, other than one uh, tap out at the end of round three against, um, oh boy, I forgot what his name was. We, Paul Craig, where he got tapped at the very end, which is no shame, but he was winning that fight. Anyways, this is a lightweight, light heavyweight uh, division bout, 205. And Kalaev is coming at 16, six foot three and a 75 inch reach. Uh, his counterpart in the octagon is Vulcan Uzdemir, former title challenger. He's coming at 17 and five. He's coming off a loss uh, to Yuri Prohoshka and two wins before that. Um, he had a, he's been on a tough street stretch recently um, after that title fight. But he's 6'2 with a 75-inch reach. These guys statistically um, are pretty similar, but very different styles. I think about that. Let's see. We always make it a point to talk about some combat sambo because Gage and I have come to the conclusion that it's pretty useful fighting style. It seems like the combat sambo guys transfer really well into MMA. But we're still not 100% sure what combat sambo exactly is. They're just well, badasses. I mean, it's fucking cool. Yeah, they, they, those guys can scrap. You know, this fight, it's funny because my gut instinct says it's a trap. My gut instinct says Uzdemir has lost a couple in a row, but he's not quite washed. He's still got a little bit of gas in the tank, but I don't know. My brain says that freaking Magomed Ankalaev is just a force to be reckoned with. 205 division right now is a mess. You know, I can say that pretty confidently. There's some top contenders. There's some guys that are really good, but I think that we need to see some order restored, and I think that part of getting that done is introducing some new contenders and some new blood and some guys that might actually have a shot at going in challenging the champion. And Kaliyev can grapple. He's not bad on the feet. You know, he puts out he puts out a pretty significant volume, and his defense isn't bad. I'm not going to say that it's good, but his defense isn't bad. I think Uzdemir is just going to be a little bit too slow. I think he's going to have a little bit less chili on his dog, and I think I think Ankaliyev is going to take this one. You know what? I see this one going three rounds. I think it'll be a banger. I think we'll like this fight. Yeah, I think both guys have significant power. Obviously, for 205, most of the guys do. But I think these guys, they're on the upper echelon of power um, in their hands at 205. Uh, Vulcan in his last fight against Yuri, I mean, he he jarred Yuri for sure. He starched him. Not starched, but stunned him, I'd say. Yuri's tough. Obviously, he's a challenger at 205, and I'd like to see him fight for the belt next, of course. But he should have uh, Vulcan, been the backup fighter for the for the main fight this for the main event. Yeah, but um, none regardless, I think Magomed Ankalaev's power is also really good. I mean, he knocked out uh, Ian Kutalaba twice, and he is an absolute force. At, I mean, not the best 205 fighter, but good lord, is that guy ferocious? He's so, a I mean, that put, yeah, dude, he's a blockhead. He's hard to put out, and he put him out twice. Um, I think Magomed is just overall going to be the better fighter. I think he's going to have more um, opportunities because of his skill set to take this, whereas I think Vulcan Uzmir is just kind of, you know, bland. He, he's really just a boxer, and he has some knees in the clinch, and he showed that to work, but that was against a guy that was like 5'9 and earlier Latifi but other than that I mean just not really on a real impressive run after his title bout with Daniel Cormier so I'm going to go with Magomed Ankalaev here I think he has the stuff I think he has the juice to get to the top I mean he's younger he's bigger in all dimensions physically he's going to be stronger you know you can't you can't count Uzdemir out like you said he's a formal he's a former title contender he's he's his name's always going to be in the mix no matter how many losses in a row he's coming off of but I think you know, he struggles you said on it, the man. I think he struggles on the ground um 
not a lot, but I think enough to where and Goliath can definitely take advantage of that if it gets to that spot, you know? Smother him like a wet blanket. I love it. Hey, there's one theme on this card, and it's the Russians, baby. Look, that's that's why part of the reason I'm like they did it in Abu Dhabi, put it in prime time on the other side of the world, but that don't bother me none. No, sir, re Bob. Not so at let's all. Take, let's take a, a gander here at the odds this week for our first bout. Um so we have Ink Alive coming at at the minus 280 favorite. That's pretty hefty. Um, and on the flip side, Vulcan Uzmir at the plus 265 dog. You thinking it? What are you thinking, Zach? I mean, if you're going to want to make money on this card, just taking a preemptive look at the odds as a whole, we're going to have to toss some parlays together. We're going to have to string a couple of bets together and hit a few in a row. But Looking specifically at this fight, I don't like the money line. Actually, I think if you want to be smart and you want to tease some things further up the card, it might be more valuable for you to take Uzdemir. But looking at it, I I don't think this is going to be one that gets done quickly. And Vegas seems to. So fight goes to decision at plus 155 has some value for me, you know, I think the fight's going to start round three, so that's not going to count. I mean, I think if you think one of these guys is going to get TKO, I think that's definitely coming back on the plus money, even if you want to throw a hedge in there. If you think Ankalaev is going to win the fight money line at minus 280, come back, throw a few dollars on Uzdemir plus 480 for KO. I mean, it's not a bad hedge. No, I, I, it's funny because I, I'm kind of like, this is a fight that I just feel like, you know, why not take a risk on? So I'm like, Ankaliyev wins by split majority decision at plus 900. Yeah, no thanks. It's fun, and I, I consider it, but I don't know. I think I think Ankaliyev is just going to win by a decision, I think. Very real it, possibility. I think that's probably the most likely, in my opinion. Well, and I think you get good odds on that because I think everybody observes the power of both of these gentlemen and goes, yeah, this thing could be over like that. This thing could turn tides very quickly. But I mean, Ankaliyev, uh for decision plus 235 is not bad at all. I think that's actually a better play than hedging it. Uh, Uzdemir to TKO, honestly. Well, you heard it here first, folks. 